right, so now we have our templates laid out. You'll notice there's this little gouge in the bracer detail. That's totally fine. I am not worried about it in the least. I'm going to do so much damage. Um, so when you do your templates, you want to make sure that when you've laid it out, there's enough gap for you to get in there with scissors to do your cuts and then follow your entire perimeter. Okay, so you can try and get it as tight as possible, but you really only want them as close as you can comfortably cut with your scissors. So what I'm going to do now is give myself a little bit of slack and this down so I'm not fighting the entire time. And we're just going to break loose the first component with our scissors. And it's funny, when you order these scissors online, you think, oh, you know, well, I went into the store, but, oh, Tandy, they have these really big, heavy-duty scissors, massive, and you think, that's going to cut. And these little guys, somehow, by some magical means of forging process, do a much better job of cutting than the blue-handled ones I had before. So ultimately, all I'm trying to do is trim out the perimeter of my part so that when I get to the end, I can do a clean trim step of the design. So you can see it's not the most elegant line, but these scissors don't do fine corners really well when they're fighting material that thick. So just want to cut that perimeter out all the way to the end. There we go. Your hand is going to get a workout. If you're cutting this older, stiffer leather, you're gonna find that there's a little bit of cramping action as you cut if you've been doing this all day. But once you get to your Sharpie mark, you wanna take the time to make sure you're cutting just inside that perimeter. Otherwise, you're gonna get a little black lip on the edge, and that's fine if you plan on dyeing this black or painting it black, but if you wanna do something like hot pink, which is totally my style, um, you'll end up wondering why you did it, because the remarkable thing about Sharpie is it bleeds through paint. So you do wanna take the time to trim on the inside of your Sharpie line, otherwise you'll be coming back with the edger to trim that off later. So I've got one more pass to do on this part. Now you can cut this with a rotary cutter, but for some of the classes that I do, that tool isn't allowed. So for the adult classes, they get to use a rotary cutter and that'll slice your finger clean off if you're not paying attention, just a good chunk of meat. But sometimes, the only tool you get is the scissors. So we're trying to show you what you can do with the scissors at home, rather than the thousands of dollars of tools you could buy to make everything super duper easy. Not super exciting. But this stiff leather is really gonna fight you during the entire process. So if you get that softer leather, you'll find this trim step goes a lot faster. And that's okay. Especially with simple cuts like the bracer, you're not gonna find you have that much trouble. But when you're dealing with um, the more complicated pauldron, you may ask yourself, should I be using a utility knife, you know, a box cutter, um, an X-Acto knife, or a rotary cutter? And so we can discuss how those tools work at that point in time. So now you have your scraps. You can use these for test cuts test punches or um, sometimes you can make small subcomponents depending on how much material you have. If you lay it out properly, most of it's just junk. So I usually trim off this small bit that goes in the garbage. And this bit can be used for doing punching steps or detailing steps and really checking for functionality. Now this piece is big enough to do a strap or some sort of detail. You could very easily throw it onto the wrist or onto your shoulder when you're doing your designs. So those are things where you can just say, this is junk, but these will come in handy. So on the next one, we'll talk about how to trim out the pauldron with this lovely, lovely rigid um, curve. It's funny because, you know, we're gonna basically wet it down and tell it to go the opposite way immediately after. But in the meantime, we get to fight this 
sort of resistive element. 